Hey everybody, it's Jesse with Dexas 5 Soft Modder. Today I'm going to show you how to install a custom recovery onto your device. Custom recovery is a pretty useful thing to have on your device for any Android user, but it's especially essential if you've rooted. Having a custom recovery lets you do things like backup every setting and every app on your phone. Uh, in case anything goes wrong, you always go back to this restore point later. It's also something you need if you want to flash a custom ROM, which lets you completely change the user experience on your phone, which is something that we're going to get into a little bit later. For now, if you've rooted your device already, download an app from the Play Store called Goo Manager. Goo Manager is a really cool tool. Um, again, it's uh, for rooted devices only, so make sure your device is rooted before you continue. If you haven't rooted yet, we've got a handy guide for you. Check out the uh, tutorial links. Once you download Goo Manager, open it up. Goo Manager allows you to flash custom ROMs and install recoveries straight from this interface from your phone. You don't even have to hook it up to a computer, which is pretty great. Once you install Goo Manager, go up to the menu overflow option here. Go down to install open recovery script. Once you hit that, it asks you to confirm this is what you want to do. You hit yes, and then it shows you the file name of what you're going to download. In this case, we're going to use Twerp, which is Team Win Recovery Project, which is a great customer recovery. I like it a lot because it's a really easy uni user interface. I'll show it to you later. This verifies that this is the right file name, Hammerhead. That's the code name for the Nexus 5, so that's what you want to do. Once you do that, hit yes, and then it'll take you here, and then it'll automatically download from this site. And that's it. It's simple. Once it downloads, it takes a while. And once you do that, shut off your device. And power it down. Wait for the device to power down here. Now hold in the volume down and power button at the same time. Once you do, you'll get into the um, fast boot menu. Use the volume keys to cycle through until you get recovery mode. Again, this is this assumes that you've already downloaded the um, the recovery. I have done that already in the past, so I had to skip that step for now. So assume you've already downloaded it, it could take a while. Boot in, the, uh, boot in the fast boot mode, and then hit the power button once you get to recovery mode. You'll see the Google logo splash. And then you should see Team Win's logo splash on the screen after that. There you go. Once you see that, you know you're in business. This is now going to be your custom recovery. From here, you can flash custom ROMs, which is something we'll do a little bit later. But for now, we're going to make a backup <clears throat> because that's a really important thing to have in case anything ever goes wrong. So this is a really great user interface to have because everything is touch screen. It's, uh, it's really easy options that you can just go through and do anything you need to. So right now, go to backup. You can backup anything you want. I recommend using system, data, and boot checks those options. And then you can click up here where it says backup name to name it, anything you want to. So I've already made one in the past. Once you do that, you swipe to the right to create the backup, which it will do. Once you do that, <clears throat> you can restore that backup anytime you need to. You just go to restore. You boot your phone in the fast boot mode like you would normally do. And then you hit restore. And then you can choose any of the files that you've backed up previously. I created a recovery. I called it stock. Just so I know, if anything ever goes wrong, I can always revert back to the settings before I started rooting, before I started flashing custom ROMs and everything like that, and everything will be great. So now that you've done this, the next step is just to install a custom ROM if you really want to get crazy and have a lot of fun. I'll talk about that in a future guide. And in the meantime, if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And for the full tutorial, check out Nexus 5 Softmodder. Thanks a lot, everybody.